All right, if you're just tuning in, we are about 30 minutes into today's flight test. And the ship is on its suborbital trajectory. As you can see in some of the views and from some of the telemetry, we are in a little bit of a spin. We did spring a leak in some of the fuel tank systems inside of Starship, which a lot of those are used for your attitude control. And so at this point, we've essentially lost our attitude control with Starship. We are still on a path toward re-entry. We are suborbital, so no matter what, we are going to enter. However, this lowers the chances for it to be a controlled re-entry. So if you think back to Flight 3, when we had something similar happen, um, just the end symptom of a loss of attitude control, we were in a roll by the time we hit re-entry. So we are going to re-enter. We should hopefully still have views. Um, the Starlink satellites are pretty robust to still maintaining contact. We've got four of those terminals on the vehicle, and they're pretty robust to maintaining contact, even when we are in a spin, essentially. Um, so we should hopefully continue to keep live views. It's going to still be dark um, until we get a little bit closer to entry, as we are a little bit. Uh, we're coming up on Africa. I believe we do swing just to the south of that continent. Um, and by the time we start heading out over the Indian Ocean, we'll start heading into a sunrise. So, not looking great with a lot of our on-orbit objectives for today, where we were hoping to do the PEZ deploy and relight an engine, and then really importantly, get into that controlled entry to really put the heat shield through the ringer. Uh, nonetheless, Starship marching forward towards that re-entry over the Indian Ocean. So, we'll continue to hang with it and give you any updates as things continue to change.
All right, so 36 minutes, 15 seconds into today's flight test. You're seeing some flat movement here on the ship. Uh, if you've been following along, we have essentially lost attitude control on the ship at this point. It is suborbital, so it's still headed to the exact same trajectory as before. Uh, we were not able to get that payload door open and deploy those nose cones. We've been dealing with some leaks on the ship. This is also what led to that loss of attitude control. So uh, at this point, we are kind of in a spin and we are also gonna be skipping that Raptor relight. Uh, if you've followed through the history of Starship, this something similar happened, um, different cause, but same symptom uh, back on flight three where we weren't able to maintain attitude control in orbit. And so we're going to skip the relight of that Raptor engine while we're in space. Uh, we are going to still proceed with entry, uh, but as we are not able to control the attitude of the ship, as we get into entry, it will enter in whatever orientation it is in at the time, uh, which does not bode well for the ship's heat shield, uh, as we're, we're not going to be essentially aligned the way that we want to do for reentry. So uh, it is definitely coming down. It is definitely heading to the Indian Ocean, uh, but our chances of making it all the way down are pretty slim. Um, so we'll still get as much data as we can. We're still getting live telemetry, live views from Starlink the entire time, uh, and we'll continue to stick with ship as it continues on. We are about 10 minutes away or so uh, until we start getting into entry, and the light will start to pick up as we cross the Indian Ocean, uh, and we'll start to see a little bit more daylight, and we'll, as always, as long as we maintain that comm link, get some plasma on the way in, and start to bring the Starship back through the Earth's atmosphere. So that coming up in about 10 minutes or so. So we'll check back in with everybody in a little bit.
All you're... right, so we are 42 minutes and change into today's flight test. You're seeing the light show start <laughs> as Starship is getting closer to its reentry. If you're just tuning in, we were able to successfully make it to orbit, run into a couple of issues as we've coasted to our entry point over the Indian Ocean. At this point, we had lost attitude control of the ship and entered into a spin. The team made the call to do what's called passivate the vehicle, so we're essentially venting all of the remaining propellant overboard, and it's going to make an uncontrolled reentry. Important to note, this is a contingency that is planned for, and we clear the zones in the Indian Ocean where these entries could take place. Um, so we're not going to come down exactly where we would have had nothing happened, uh, but we do clear a tremendous amount of uh, space out in the Indian Ocean um, in the event that we run into this. You always, we, we understand that there are always risks, essentially with these flight tests, with the hardware, uh, but we don't really accept any compromise when it comes to protecting people. And it is uh, one thing to note is we will actually still re-enter in our, our planned airspace zone. We might be getting some video back soon. There we go. So this is a view essentially on the top part of Starship. You're looking up at the payload bay and towards the nose cone. So uh, views are going to be a little bit scarce potentially as, again, we are in essentially a tumble. We had lost that attitude control. Um, so Starlink, when it's able to connect, able to feed this down, uh, we are at the phase where we would expect entry to start uh, within the next minute or so. So we are entering uncontrolled, but again, we're entering into an airspace and a sea space that is cleared and monitored in advance of launch and before we get to this phase. And with the views that we are able to see, you are seeing a lot of that plasma build up uh, during reentry. We do expect the vehicle to see about 1400 degrees Celsius. And there you can see the, the flap uh, trolling the attitude of the vehicle. So this is now at this point in the, the test flight, it is expected uh, to see it begin to uh, demise a little bit on its way back down to earth. Yeah. 